Hi, I'm Dan Hart. Here at Virgin Orbit, we've built a revolutionary air launch system to provide responsive and dedicated launch for a wide range of small satellite customers. Space continues to change our world by connecting us, giving us insights into our planet and the universe around us, and providing safety and security benefiting everyone on Earth. Here, Virgin Orbit exists because we care deeply about improving access to space for good. In today's dynamic space ecosystem, we're using space-based capabilities to an extent that far surpass anything we could have imagined even a decade ago. New launch services like ours are making it easier for satellites to access space, and that is accelerating a trend of more launches, more satellites, more orbits, and more capabilities. But humankind has a long history of destroying environments without even realizing it, chasing short-term gains without an eye for the long-term damage that we cause. In the space environment, we have the opportunity and the obligation to make sure we don't repeat that mistake. There is a real need for government and industry to work together now to find solutions that suit this challenge. We need private industry to step up and be responsible for our own systems and activities. That's why launch companies like us need to actively work to leave as little as possible behind in orbit. For our part, we anticipate doing far better than today's 25-year deorbit standard. We're working hard to make sure our hardware re-enters within five years, and often substantially sooner. That's also why the more hardware and the more investment an organization puts in orbit, the more they should be leaders and trailblazers in space sustainability. They have more to lose if the environment is damaged. We need to move to a long-term mindset. But the private sector can only do so much. We also need to update our regulations with sustainability in mind. We must ensure that spacecraft are designed in a way that prevent them from breaking apart in orbit, and that the ends of missions are planned responsibly. We also need to do all we can, both through technology and through regulation, to disincentivize anti-satellite activities once and for all. And we need governments to work hand-in-hand -hand with industry to fund entirely new solutions to the debris problem that already exists. Our community has been too timid for too long when it comes to active debris removal. The rapid development of small satellite technology is making the problem more urgent but also offers the first real hope for solutions. Several small satellite firms are now actively working on systems that can deorbit debris. Early demonstrations are showing real promise, but much more work is needed. We urge stakeholders and governments to make significant investments in creating an active debris removal market and to become anchor customers of these exciting new capabilities. And finally, Going to space requires manufacturing and propulsion, which impact the environment here, closer to home. At Virgin Orbit, we've worked with world-class partners to actively remove carbon from the atmosphere to offset our major activities, including our launch demo earlier this year. And this is just the starting point. I hope other space industry leaders will step up and join us in offsetting space launch. As a community, We've got a lot of work to do. Space sustainability is a responsibility that falls on all of our shoulders. But I am confident that if we choose to take this on, we are up to the challenge. So I thank you all for taking part in this summit and recognizing the importance of this topic. And I thank Secure World Foundation for bringing us together. We're grateful for the opportunity to work with you to craft a better, more sustainable future for humanity's endeavors in space.